So this is our uh, impact force measurement solution uh, with up to 50 kilohertz of data update rate. You can see uh, the sensor with 50,000 pound capacity here. You just put a little nut on it. You can put a plate or anything else you want over it. Connect it to the DI1000 UHS-10K. So this is, it says 10K here, but it goes up to 50 kilohertz. It's connected through USB to this PC, running LoadView 1000HS-10K, our software for it. So it's already all configured, ready to use. We'll just tear it. Uh, so zero out the initial value, and you should see about 0.5 volts approximately when you do that. That means everything is working fine. I've selected 10 seconds uh, to capture the data for at up to 50 kilohertz, so the fastest rate for up to 10 seconds. And I've selected a, a file to uh, log the data to. And I'm gonna hit start. And then now I'm gonna hit this. Everything is flying off the shelf. So let's see what the results look like. Okay, so I, I hit the, the sensor five times as hard as I could with a hammer, with a mallet and I'm getting about, say, maximum of 1,200 odd pounds that I was able to hit it with. Here's one, two, three, four, five. And if you want to zoom in and take a closer look, you can just go graph, zoom, or press F9, and then we can just take a look at just this one guy to see what it looks like. So there you can zoom in closer and closer. So we'll take a look just at this narrow range. Here we can see a beautiful curve going from zero to about, say, 12, this is 1,500, so about 1,250-odd pounds. So this is how you can zoom in and get a really good, accurate picture of your force, um, force of impact using this solution. Right. So, so in the previous uh, test, we did five hits. Uh, and we saw what the impact forces look like. Here we'll do just one hit. I've hit it with as much force as I can possibly muster with this rubber mallet. And then we'll do it in slow-mo and then take a look to see if we can get a nice, good uh, force versus time uh, capture of the data. So let's see what that one hit in slow-mo looks like in terms of force uh, and time. So I'm gonna zoom into the thing. You can do that by going to graph and zoom. And you can come in here and just look at the slice of time when the impact took place. So we are zooming in further and further. So now you can see we are, you know, each this is 2.72, let's just go a little bit more, okay, there you go. So it, we're going from 2.271 seconds to 2.274 seconds. That's just three milliseconds total, of which we are, the actual impact was about two milliseconds, and the max force is about close to 1,200 pounds of force. So we are able to literally peer in and figure out how much the duration of the impact was and what the max force is during the impact.